Now we want to configure a continuous integration for this project. For that, you want to uh, set up a agent or you and you can probably use the hosted agent also in this case. Uh, let's let's go with the hosted agent for now. Uh, there will be probably additional steps required for setting up a test a build agent for yourself if you want to host it on your own uh, VM or Azure VM. So right now if you see it says you don't have any build definitions. So let's click on a new definition and Visual Studio template. We'll pick up with the template that is Visual Studio. Okay, next. So we are going to select the MVC team project here. Okay. So let's use the hosted agent, set up the continuous integration on the master branch. My MVC is the sample MVC is the repository. Master branch continuous integration is checked using a hosted agent. Under this folder, choose the folder. Default one that is the root. Okay. So let's create one. Create. So these are some default steps that uh, according to the template that we chose came with uh, getting the latest packages from NuGet, building your solution based on the configuration, uh, Visual Studio version we were using 2015 just in case and x86 is okay for now. Test assemblies, you have some test project like that be taken as your, it will include anything with the name test and it will publish an artifact called as drop. Okay, so let's save as it is for now and we can call it as a CI build for example. Click OK. That creates your basic definition. Uh, now let's try submitting a code change and then we see if it triggers a build or not. So to do that we can definitely make a simple change from here itself. So under this view, under this layout, you can edit if you have the permissions you can edit it directly from here. So let's say a simple MVC instead of using the we'll remove this word application from here and we made this change now we want to save this file okay commit so it is committed here the moment you commit it should uh, basically push your changes so we go in here and check the bills and it has triggered a build. So let's take our first build and see what happens in the background. So this hosted agent has triggered and it will run all through all the steps that we saw in the definition. Now probably hosted agent will be some virtual machine in Azure cloud and what it did was downloading the source code which means whatever source we had got copied on a working directory on that virtual machine it uh, got the latest NuGet packages as per the NuGet config file then it ran ms build to compile the solution to check for compilers and after that it found a test project and ran some tests on top of that and then finally brought the artifact back again on that host agent for publishing it uh, whether you can deploy it to Azure or any other environment and that kind of triggers your source control changes into builds and then once you configure your continuous deployment then you can see once the build is successful it can deploy it as well. So now we see that it has completed. Uh, we don't have a continuous deployment pipeline yet. 
So if let's say we want to set up a deployment to Azure Web App, then you can use your subscription or your account, same account that you have used here can be used for the portal as well. Going under the dashboard. So let's create a new web application service, app service you can say. Web app, okay. Under that I would say my sample MVC app. I think it is already taken by somebody, so it will help giving you the unique URL. So let's say this is the site URL that I want to create, and now you have created sample MVC app. The Visual Studio subscription will be used. Let's create a new resource group as. Sample RG, let's say it's create on sample RG. Create. The deployment has started and it will be pretty quick to create a new web app. Okay, it succeeded creating a resource group. Very good. And then under that resource group, you will see that web app to be created. If I click on app services, it will list down all my app services. And this is my sample MVC web app that we just created. Okay, so the, these are the details that you will require for the deployment as well. So now let's go back to a build definition that we saw earlier. Mm, we create a new release definition to deploy our application. Uh, so we have Azure App Service Deployment Task. Okay, we click on that, say next, and choose the source that will publish. So we created the build definition, which was creating an artifact drop. We will use that as a part here to be deployed. The project is a sample MVC project, team project, and then this is our build definition. I want to continuously deploy my builds, create. This is your dummy environment created. You can definitely edit this. So let's say deploy web app. Okay. That's just my name of the environment. Under this, you have a task deploying as your app service. And as your subscription is required, now you have a button called as authorize, which is good. So you can uh, edge has blocked. Allow it, please. Okay, let's authorize this. So here you can log in to your account. Sign in. Okay. Once it authorizes, refresh. This should click authorize to configure your connection. So if I see authorize, close, let's try again. Click authorize. Okay, pop up came up. Personal account. Sign me in. Okay, so this should authorize you once it is ready. 
it will list down all your app service names here so, and then you can select the the particular app service that you created over there refresh my authorization to the subscription okay now it knows so you see the authorized went out and it lists down all my web applications so we just created an nm sample and we see web app that got created okay no need of a virtual application name here because you are directly putting on the root of that web app additional options you can use the web deploy which is good the app service url uh, the output variable no need for now all you're saying is this is my subscription this is my web app and take whatever you get from there from the drop folder to deploy it on okay now let's try to save this Now what we want to do is uh, we want to make a code change. So we go back to the files, sample application, sample application, views, shared folder, layout, edit this document sample mvc instead of using this word sample i will say mvc app commit this okay. very good so it shows my updates here very good and then you will see the bells getting triggered because of that so the bill number two is created and you will notice that it is looking for a hosted agent as soon as it finds one it will start the process of building okay it found one and it's downloading the source updating the NuGet packages, building the solution. And then running all the unit tests. Finally, it will publish your symbols for remote debugging and then copying the file from the staging directory and then it will generate some reports now let's go to see if it has triggered any release okay seems like it did trigger a release in which it has to deploy so under here right click copy this URL so initially you will not see anything on the side it is usually blank this is how a blank web app will look like right and now if you go back to your uh, release cycle it says it is deploying to that website then you should see your sample home page if it is successfully deploying it uh, it failed here at this step and it says there was no zip file found the reason you will get this is because how your uh, drop folder generated your web application and how you release that mission so you need to do the handshaking with the help of those artifacts so if you look at the artifacts what we are getting is ci bills okay so now what you need to do is you want to say there are some command line arguments that you need to say that will generate a zip file for you that gets picked up by the release definition. To do that, we will go back to our builds and we'll modify our build definitions. I 
enter to your build definition and under this build task you will provide some arguments to generate a package for you what you're saying is deploy is true web publish package and then package it into a single file okay so those are the arguments that you need to provide you do a save update your definitions now once that is done let's do a new build so you can this is where you can directly trigger your builds without making a code change and you can say select the master branch debug is false release configuration is true and update then it will trigger a new build for you Being succeeded. Let's take a look at the release now. Launch. Now it has found that zip file and then it did the deployment. So if you look into the details here, it says Azure App Service deploy. Okay. It was searching for a zip file initially, right? And so what it did is it's found that and then adding a directory bin, content views, it created all those folders. And then finally all the associated assemblies and the static files successfully deployed okay so now if i go here and i do a refresh you will see the deployment okay so you will see your application got deployed so you have set up a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline